Hello, this is Mr. Tivnin, and I am going to run through a trigonometry problem for you. Uh, this is solving a trig equation involving inverse trig functions. So what we're going to do is, here on the screen you see inverse cotangent of x is equal to the inverse tangent of 4 thirds. So we're going to take that problem and, and see if we can find the values of x which satisfy the equation. So, what we're going to do is, first of all, is look at the right-hand side. The right-hand side is an inverse tangent um, of 4 thirds, and that represents an angle. The result of an inverse tangent function, or any inverse trig function, is an angle. So you may want to just think of this as angle u or whatever variable you'd like. Let me write that u again. So what I'm going to do is rewrite this problem as the inverse cotangent of x is equal to u. Now to get a picture of that, what I want to do is sketch an angle in the xy system. So if we have our x and y coordinates, something like that, this would be in tangent is positive 4 thirds, so that would be in quadrant 1. So I'm going to draw a reference triangle in the first quadrant. And um, it's not drawn to scale, so don't worry about that. What I really want to do is to label the sides. Now, tangent is y over x. So if I rewrite, if I can label the sides of that triangle as 4 and a 3 like that. And if we use the Pythagorean theorem we would find that's a Pythagorean triple so that would be a hypotenuse of 5. So there we have a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Now that's going to be useful when we solve this. If we go back to this form of the equation over here, I'm going to take the cotangent of both sides of the equation. So the cotangent of the inverse cotangent of x is equal to the cotangent of u. In this diagram, u represents the angle right there. So what I'm going to do is um, apply the right, the left hand side here undoes, the cotangent undoes an inverse cotangent. So we're left with x, because these are inverse functions. So x is equal to the cotangent of u. If you look back to the diagram, we can see that cotangent is x over y. So that would be 3 over 4. So the cotangent of u is equal to 3 fourths. Uh, sorry, the um, x value is equal to 3 fourths. And that is the solution to our problem. 